I was seven months pregnant and I went to the Yellow Pages to see what hospitals even there were here in College Station and went over to the first one. Didn't get a good feeling after walking around. Then I went over to St. Joseph's and the minute I got on the maternity floor, a nurse named Catherine came up to me and said, may I help you? Um, and I said, sure. I said, I'm about to have a baby. We just moved here and I'm trying to get a field of where I should have uh, my baby. And she showed me the rooms. She introduced me to an OB doctor that was going in to have delivery. She ended up being my OB, Dr. Jansky. Uh, and that's how I found St. Joseph. I, the minute I walked in, I had this excellent feeling of this is where you want to be and you're going to be taken care of. Uh, Wyatt came two weeks early. I'd been in labor for 17 hours. I'd been going back and forth of being sent home, going back. But uh, finally when it was time, uh, the delivery nurse, Carrie, she, at first we were button heads because I was yelling. I was in so much pain. So Wyatt came out and they immediately took him over to the NIC unit uh, because of his breathing. Uh, wasn't where they wanted it to be. So then that was like 2.30 in the morning when Wyatt was born. And so then when I went to go visit him the next morning with my husband, uh, Dr. Raymond came and said, we think Wyatt might have Down syndrome. And we were like, okay, you know, what, it, what does that entail? What do we need to do? And immediately the nurses at St. Joseph's got, gave me a huge notebook with everything that you would need from step one to step 100 on Down syndrome. And when the test came back the next day, it was conclusive that um, he had Down syndrome. They were like, are you all right with this? And we're like, well, sure. I mean, there's obviously a reason that why it picked us to be his parents, to help him. So he, so we've, we've got to, you know, step up. Here, here we go. You know, we'll go on this journey with them. We don't know how, what, where to begin, but we're going to find out the information we needed to help him be the best that he can be as he gets older with the help that he needs. And what was just so instrumental while being at St. Joseph's was the nurses. They, he was there for 20 days. They became his mother because I could only go every three hours for the feedings. They're the ones that he saw for the first 20 days of life. And if you ever walk into the NIC unit at St. Joseph's, the nurses have the smile on their face 24-7. As I've told my friends about my experience at St. Joseph's Hospital, they've been in awe um, how the nurses take care, how well they take care of you, um, and sincerely, that's the word. They really sincerely care. Um, my friends are in awe because they've had their babies other places, and they um, seem to have that feeling of being shipped in, shipped out, and not that you become a family member once you have your baby at St. Joseph's. Now you're a member of the St. Joseph's family. I mean, I was in that NIC unit watching every single nurse. And that those nurses, they don't take their, ba their eyes off those babies. They are constantly, and, and they're, I mean, I was there 20 days. I never saw one nurse have a bad day. I mean, they're all like, they're, I mean, they're like, they love being there. They love these children. They take care of it. And I just remember thinking, these are like angels. They've, they've almost been called here to take care because other hospitals even like that I was in in Dallas. I mean, I've been in a lot of, that, that's just, it's that feeling's not there. I mean, they're so excited, true, sincerely. That's the word that just keeps popping in my head today, sincerely. They are sincere. The sisters are around the hospital. They care, they stop, they talk um, to you many times when I've been over there. And I, I think that it almost comes down from the sisters that, that, that the 
employees and nurses and doctors feel the love from them and then almost feed on it and keep spreading it out then to the patients. They're doing something right over there because from the delivery nurses to the NICU nurses to the nurses that took care of me on the maternity floor, um, they all have that special little light that shines in them. They try to get you in a place where you need to be when you do leave to go home. Every time I think about St. Joseph's, especially up in that NIC unit and that maternity ward, in my head I always just see this huge red heart kind of just in the whole center of that floor. It's just when I think of that floor, I just see this huge red heart.